Hey, I'm Grant with Grant's Game Rex. Today I'm coming to you with a new segment about games coming to retail. A lot of content creators and YouTube channels cover games that are coming to Kickstarters, but I don't really care about games that are on Kickstarter because I don't want the frustration of waiting for a Kickstarter fulfill. I would rather just wait until a game comes out onto retail, you know? And some games just come straight out to retail these days. Uh, so that's why I wanted to do a video on games that are coming to retail that I'm excited about. Also, shout out uh, to Chad, one of the watchers of my Grant's Game Rex series, who gave me the idea for this video. Um, yeah, so, you know, if you want to leave a comment, I pay attention to them. You might have a video segment because of your suggestion. Whoa! I hope you feel pretty special, Chad. Okay, let's get into it. These are games coming to retail May and June 2021. That's right now! First of all, one I'm real excited about, Sheepy Time. I actually have this game, but I haven't gotten it to the table yet. You know, um, it's it, it feels like it kind of fits into that light to midweight game category, which is something I really like, you know, where there's there's decisions and there is strategy, but it's easy to teach to anybody and uh, get to the table, even though I haven't gotten it to the table yet, you know? I haven't been sleeping very well this week, and maybe it's because I haven't played Sheepy Time. I think that is the universe telling me I need to play it so I can start sleeping again, you know? Uh, another one coming to retail that I have played, Four Gardens. Uh, I think Four Gardens is a really relaxing, gorgeous game. It's a game that's sort of in the same vein as Azul. If you like Azul, then I think you'll probably like Four Gardens. It's that same sort of light strategy game, and it's really fun, and, and it has amazing table presence. It's got this pagoda that is four stories tall, and everybody's like, whoa, that looks cool, and even if you don't like the game, you'll still be like, nah, look neat, you know? What else? Oh, Sword and Sorcery has a new version. That game's too heavy for me. I'm not gonna play any game that's a four on the BGG complexity scale. I don't, I don't have that kind of intelligence or patience or time, but I will say it does look pretty cool. And if you like that um, fantasy theme, you know, and then you like sword and sorcery, you should probably do that. Oh, there's like a, there's a bunch. There's sword and sorcery, ancient chronicles, and then there's also an expansion and a second expansion, lots of content. Another one coming out, Rush MD. You know, I'm not into doctor games. I, I I play games to forget about my problem. Why do I don't want to think about medical ailments when I play a board game, you know? Maybe I'd play Operation because I'd be like, oh, I remember this from when I was a kid, but anything else? No, thank you. I would like to play a game about dragons or beaches or something like that, but, you know, Death? Nope. My character can die. I don't want to think about myself dying, and I'm going to think about myself dying if I play a doctor game, so no thank you. Man, it's crazy how many games come out each month, too. Uh, I'm looking on the BGG um, list. They have a list every couple of months about games coming to retail, and there is 183 games coming to retail in May and June, and I expect you all to try each one of them. We got One Deck Dungeon Abyssal Depths. Abyssal Depths? I feel like I'm not saying that right. A bit? Abyss? I know Abyss and I know Abysmal. I don't know Abyssal. But we have One Deck Dungeon Abyssal, Abyssal, Abyssal Depths. It is an expansion for One Deck Dungeon, and I've never played One Deck Dungeon, but... I know a lot of people really like it, and I feel like I'm missing out. That's one that's like on my list and has been on my list for years to try. Uh, so if you like that game, if you're one of the people watching this video that's like, What? You've never tried one deck? To well, they have an expansion. This is probably for you. That's an expansion for you. So let's see. What else do we have coming out on to retail? Ooh, Big Potato has two games coming out. Snakes! And I'm contractually obligated to um, do it that way. S snakes. I love that cover. I love that cover. It is an optical illusion, and I feel like I might have a seizure, but I also 
I'm on board. You know, Big Potato, I feel like, um, you know, they do a lot of party games and things like that. And I feel like they've built up some equity with me. You know, I've liked a lot of games that, and not every one of them is like a huge hit, but I like almost all of them. The Chameleon, one of my favorite party games of all time. So Snakes, you know, looks pretty cool. They also have Mean Girls, the party game. I'm a little more skeptical of that one. I love Mean Girls, the movie, but sometimes when you try to like shove an IP onto a game, it doesn't work. But you know what? I'm going to give Big Potato the benefit of the doubt because I've liked some of the stuff that they've done before, so I will definitely be trying Mean Girls the Party Game as well. Board and Dice is releasing Mandala Stones. I don't know anything about that game except for it photographs very well on Instagram. I see a lot of people posting photos of Mandala Stones, and it looks gorgeous. I hope it can live up to the hype. I hope that it's actually fun. Because it's pretty on Instagram, but Instagram ain't a board game. You know what I mean? So, hmm. Coffee Traders from Capstone Games. You know, that's another genre. There's a bunch of coffee games these days. And I don't drink coffee. So I don't really care. Am I supposed to? I mean, they're probably good games. But if you don't care about the theme, then why play the game there's so many other games to play you know and it's just you I have the most pretentious reason ever that I don't drink coffee um I really love the book um To Kill a Mockingbird and in that book um the uh girl scout has to read to uh the old lady who's dying and uh and the old lady is not taking her morphine and Atticus is like she wants to die not beholden to anybody and I was like yeah I'm never gonna be beholden to anybody or anything and that's why I don't drink coffee so probably shouldn't have told that story on camera everybody just turned it off right now wow Grant real pretentious of you ooh Zombicide second edition is coming out to retail and this is one I really want to try um you know I I've never tried a Zombicide game and it's it's been on my list for a long time and I kind of wanted to play the original because I like the modern setting. You know, I love The Walking Dead and I, and I love a bunch of, you know, sort of modern zombie stuff. But everybody always said, well, don't play the original Zombicide. They've, they've like, updated the rules since then. So you don't want to play that one. You want to play, you know, Invader or, or Green Horde. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't, those themes don't appeal to me as much as the modern day theme. And Zombicide Second Edition is a Zombicide with a shut up out there. Zombicide Second Edition, I'm sorry, I get very distracted with my windows open. I'm trying to make a point. Zombicide Second Edition is a Zombicide version with the updated rules from the first edition, but still has the modern day setting. So that is one that I really am excited for. Man, Ticket to Ride Europe 15th Anniversary Edition comes out. If you haven't played Ticket to Ride yet, well, you probably should, because it's very important to the hobby, and it has led a lot of people to get into games, you know? Probably. I wonder, what's the game that's gotten the most people into board games? Ticket to Ride's got to be in the top five, right? It's got to be up there. That, Catan, Carcassonne. Ooh, Bristol 1350 from F Facade Games is coming to retail. Um, if you don't know their series, they have a series of games that all look like they are books. So you can fool people into thinking that you're smarter than you are. You know, you're like, oh, am I just over here reading B Bristol 13? No, it's a game inside. I don't know how to read. Um... So I've liked a bunch of their games before, uh, and I like that series. It's a fairly easily accessible series to get onto the table, but plays, um, it's not a party, they're not party games per se, but they play a lot of people, which is kind of cool. They're not difficult games, but they're, they're easy games to teach, but they can play like eight or nine people. So if you have a bigger group, but you don't just want to play like a silly party game, their, uh, their, their book series is really um, good for that. They, uh, Tortuga is one of them. Deadwood is one of them. Uh, and there's a third one that I'm forgetting right now. 
um, that is, what is it? What's the third one? Uh, well, it's uh, Salem. Salem, 1692. That's it. So if you, um, if you like any of their other um, book series games, then definitely check out Bristol 1350. Uh, what else is coming? We got a Key Forge, a new version of Key Forge, which is for two players. That means you can play with one other person and only one other person. So if you're looking for a two-player game, well, new version of Key Forge coming out for two people. There's a lot of games. I'm just scrolling through some of them here. You know, you're really getting this in real time. That's just something I wanted to experiment with. You know, a lot of my game, a lot of my game videos are, you know, I edit them and I put a bunch of work into them. And this one, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna wing it. We're just gonna scroll live on camera, even though it's not live. Ooh, okay. From a lot of lot of stuff coming out here. Ooh, we have. We have, from Funko Games, we have no image available. That's an inside joke for me looking at my screen, which you can't see right here. They have not released an image for these games. Um, yeah. Ooh, okay. We have, from Gray Fox Games, Tortuga2199. And... You know, Gray Fox is another one of those companies that's built up a lot of equity with me. I like a lot of this stuff. You know, I, I put Champions of Midgard into my top 10 games of all time. And uh, after The Empire just got released earlier in 2021, and that is so far in my top 10 games of 2021 that I've played so far. So Tortuga 2199, that is the year 2199, so it's set in the future. Ooh, that's fun. Um, but I'm excited about this game. The, the art, the, the graphic design and the art just looks super cool and interesting. You know, it's one of those games where I'm like, it, it's got all the, it's like this mix of like both a bright and a dark theme, which is kind of fun where you're like, there's these neon pops to the, uh, to the, to the, um, graphic design, which I really think is cool. So I, I'm, uh, I'm on board with that. I'm not going to play one of Gray Fox's other games. Sukiyumi, um, which has the most miniatures ever in a game. That's one of the ways that it's like been uh, marketed, and it's just too much for me. I can't handle that many miniatures. You know, you give me you give me twenty miniatures, I'm like, hoo hoo. You give me a hundred miniatures, and I'm like, ah, I'm being attacked by miniatures. There's too many miniatures. No, thank you. I would like twenty miniatures. Don't throw a hundred at me. We have a bunch more exit games. Every time I say exit, I feel like I have to get up and walk out. Is that weird? That's probably just me, where I'm like, exit, the game! And it's just a bit, I'm, I like dad jokes, you know? I'm not a dad, but I am a dad at heart. In my joke, my funny bone is a dad. That's super funny, I've never actually thought of that. I just really pleased myself, my funny bone is a dad. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta make yourself laugh. Bullet Heart, which I don't know, nobody knows how to say it. There's a game coming out called Bullet, and then it has a heart on the end of the name. And nobody knows, it's like when Prince changed his name to Symbol, whatever that symbol, nobody knew how to say it. Bullet Heart uh, looks like a really fun game, and I am excited about that one. Uh, I, I've watched a few videos on it, and that is one that I, uh, I really want to to really want to play um so check that out bullet heart or bullet love or bullet sec nope don't go there grant Ooh, destinies from lucky duck games dude i i'm real hyped i don't know how to like express that more than i am right now but destinies it takes the app system that they started in Chronicles of Crime and put it into this uh, adventure um, ex exploration game and, and it just looks really cool. This is a game that has a bunch of miniatures. It's not a hundred Tsukiyumi, but it's got a bunch of miniatures in it. And, uh, and I just did an unboxing of it and it's, man, 
it, it looks really cool and I would like to play it. Destinies. My destiny this weekend is to play Destinies. I hope so. I'm going to learn it and try to get it on to the table. Oh. Plus, you know, one of those games, I, I, was, I was reticent about app integrated games at first. And then you realize like, oh, there's still a board and there's still stuff to do. The, the good ones still have a board and still have stuff to do. But, you know, it's also where you're like, ha ha, there's no setup and take down time at all. I love that. I don't have to spend 25 minutes sorting all these cards. I'm on board with that. You know what I mean? Ooh, from Pandasaurus Games, Brew comes out. This is one I'm also real excited about. Um, I've heard that, you know, it, in the game that it, time is shattered in the game and the board has two sides of it. So you flip the board over and uh, halfway through the game you flip the board over. I think, I think that's what I've gotten out of it. And that sounds super cool and unique to me. And, you know, there's so many games coming out. It's hard to do something unique and cool. So, you know, that feels like it's doing it. So I really want to check out brew from pandasaurus games and uh you know let's find one more here uh because you know i don't want to ramble too long because i've already given you a lot of games that i'm excited about here uh and you know hopefully i'm getting you amped you know what i mean hadrian's wall comes to uh retail right now from renegade game studios if you like rolling rights which i do this is the heaviest roll and write game out there, you know? It's like, no, 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 we're not just gonna like roll some dice and check off some squares. There's a huge sheet of all these different possibilities. And this gets you this, which gets you this, which gets you this. And can you keep it all straight in your mind? I hope so, because that's Hadrian's Wall. Thank you guys for joining me for this video of what is coming to retail in May and June 2021. If you like this uh, segment, let me know and I will uh, keep doing them every other month. Um, and if uh, nobody likes it, then this is the only one.